I'm Peter Cunicelli, and I've been working with Clay for 14 years. I've been at 915 Spring Garden for about eight and a half. I don't sit around and do nothing well. I have to always be moving, and I was whining to a friend about being bored one night, and he just said to me, you're creative, go take a class at the Clay Studio, and I did. I try to spend in the studio anywhere between eight to 20 hours a week. Um, right now I'm in a mode where I'm using this really nice brown clay body that I use very minimal glaze on. Okay, my glazing technique, it depends on what, I, what I'm in the mood for. This, this time I'm working with minimal glaze on this really nice brown clay body. I've been working with a cone 04 glaze that I fire on a vitrified cone 6 piece. Um, there have been times when I do a lot of glaze blending so that it runs um, almost kind of drawing objects onto the piece. Um, the more I work, the more I find that maybe that's where my place is going to be, is I'm working with just making these pieces that stand on their own. And, and some of them are functional in the sense that they're vases or they're bowls. Some of the pieces are more, uh, I guess, shy almost, or, you know, and then you can start to see how they, they grow and they, they evolve into something bigger or something more dramatic. When I prepare for a show, um, I try to get myself into a zone, or I often do, and I was just talking to a friend of mine about this, that I could be totally unmotivated in the months of July and August because of the heat or whatever, but then as soon as I've got a goal, I had a, I have a solo show in January, I've got Germantown Friends in, in March, and then I may have some other shows coming up in May and October. Yeah, that is my rasp. That's the thing, it's my rasp. Just come down here, kind of even them out. And then go back over it, clean it up. Try to keep it neat. And, and with any show that I do, I always try to have a piece that absolutely does not fit in. Something that I try to push myself to do something that's absolutely out of the ordinary because that's going to end up, I feel, pushing me into a direction once I'm done with this show, into another direction. Currently I have a piece in the show that looks nothing like the other ones and I'm starting to think of how I'm going to incorporate that into my body of work. When I look at my work five years ago, even ten years ago, and then I see it going forward, I get really excited because it just, it's like, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do next year. And I like that sort of, I don't want to plan it. And I think that's what kind of I'm sort of walking a very fine line between like a fine artist and a painter and, and, and a potter. I get great pleasure by making people happy through my work and so I'm just we'll just see what the future holds. What's next? Mm -hmm.